Well, we've been recording that whole time. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> at, the, at the very least. It's easy enough to find the, the beginning. Hello and welcome back to Level 7 Games Podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, trading card games, and sh- <laughs> fingering our coffee cups. <laughs> <laughs> this is my coffee mm. cup. It says the coffee. It says coffee man- on the coffee cup. Many times. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of coffee. This is one of my first mugs that I stole from my parents. Mm, that's and a- I stole many other dishes since then. <laughs> I got a lot of pots. Because mm. who the hell wants to buy a pot? Just I should just fucking have one. Yeah, dude. Right? Good one. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, pots. I don't know. Alicia just bought some new pots. Yeah? And I'm like, what hap- what's wrong with the old pots? They don't hold they don't, stuff? Yeah. Food? You can't put food in them no more? And she's like, meh, meh, meh. Meh, meh, meh. And I was like, <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> You <laughs> betcha. Just like that. Exactly how it went <laughs> down. I, I just totally pictured her saying that in my head. That's amazing. It's basically that it's basically that uh the chick from uh Kung Pao Enter the Fist who's like me 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 Oh my gosh. Wee 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 I've been trying to That's find... what it was. It was wee the me 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 that's yeah, some else. I've been trying to find a physical copy of that movie for a long time now. Kung Pao? Yeah. I haven't watched it in years. I might have one. And I've been feeling it. Yeah? That's a good one. I That's know. A, I, so good. I want to watch it you so bad. You can call me Betty. I think, the, <laughs> I think the last time I watched it, you could literally rent it. Yeah. I think It's that, been that long? It's been that long. And I was just I thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, I haven't watched Kung Pao in a long ass time. I got to watch that again. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. And now I've been looking Product for like three months. For Taco Bell. I'm getting ready to just give in and order it offline. In Chorito Taco offline Burrito. To order it you online. Remember, remember the Neosporin, da da da. Neosporin. <laughs> no, that's the problem. I don't remember like any of it. That's why I have to watch it again. Wee wee chosen one. Wee wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. I'll quit quoting the movie. You can't remember. It. I remember like, too much of it. Uh, oh, lucky call bastard. me Betty. That's my favorite shit, though. And he's like, <laughs> Crane Tiger Kitty. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, our question of the week is also an explanation for my shirt, which says level 10 complete. In case you're not watching it, I just realized that there are people that listen. So, uh, what it is is a t shirt from my brother. As a celeb- as a gift for my my tenth anniversary, slow clap. <laughs> Good job, me. Um, <laughs> but really, we're getting ready to go uh, on a trip for a week, and that's why the question of the week is gaming on the go. Mm. What do you bring? Mm. Mm. You want to go first? You want to say what you're taking? Like, what's your plan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I have been thinking about it, obviously, because I'm not going... He's like, I've been thinking about relaxing with my my wife. I've just been thinking about, hmm, which games will I select? For the- <laughs> well, I mean, our plan is for, like, two of those days to literally do fucking nothing. That's fantastic. There will be no, there will be no children. We will have room service. I'm not getting out of the fucking bed for 24 hours. Guaranteed. Like, mm-hmm. parent mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. vacation is different than not parent vacation. So, if you have a kid, you understand. Mm. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've never not been, I've never been free. Yeah, I know. This is a, <laughs> this is literally our first vacation. Oh, nice! It's gonna be, it's gonna be lovely. I'm sure, <sighs> I'm sure it's, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so fucking cool. But what I'm bringing with me. Sorry, that took a while to get there. He but just I'm, he was there in his mind. He was already there just I know. baking in the sun, just like this sunburn is the best sunburn I've ever earned. Yep. And um I'm gonna bring my Retroid Pocket too. Oh nice. You're gonna be carrying around two roids, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what's great about that one is you can plug it into a TV. Mm-hmm. And then it will actually take a Bluetooth controller, so at, I could use it as a controller, and Krista can play with just another controller. Mm-hmm. So literally, all I have to bring is my phone charger, which I have to bring that anyway, mm. uh, an extra controller for her, 
and a cord. Dang. And then I could play PlayStation 1, like Dream or not Dreamcast, uh, Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, all sorts of stuff. Pretty much PlayStation 1 and older. That sounds tight. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, how do you, how do you beat having all that? That sounds pretty, uh, sounds like a buffet of gaming. Right? Put That's in your pocket. I even, uh, I just put like 200 gigs worth of PlayStation games on it. I just dropped about a 200 gigs of retro pie in my pocket. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Shit myself. <laughs> That's good pie! Because <laughs> the coffee made me do it. Yeah, that, that will happen. So, yeah, that was my solution. It was the best way to get a bunch of stuff that really... I'm not going to go too crazy on any video games, so just older kind of arcade stuff. stuff. Yeah, where we could play something together. Seems like the best solution. True, true. So for me, I guess it would depend on means of travel. Mm. So it's like if I'm in a plane, you know, you got to consider your elbows. That's true. Some things are a little easier to hold than others. You know, so I mean, I guess I would assume that I'm going on the same trip as you. Like, okay, we'll just say that I'm going on a plane ride. Yes, and I would have to take something that is available to me now. Like, I mean, I guess I could go to the store and grab something, but it's hard not to just say a switch because that just feels like the easy answer. There's just so much good stuff on it right now, right? But a lot of times, I don't know, I always try to find something goofy. Um, I, I always find excuses to play my 3DS. I know how much you hate the 3DS. I mean, I love the games on the 3DS. It's just, True. It's just the hardware, so I, I, I get it. True, but I mean, it wouldn't be your go-to. But oh, no. unfortunately, it is the only way to play 3DS games that isn't emulation. Can you emulate the 3DS on the RetroPie? No. Oh, yeah, I guess there'd be no way to do the two screens or the yeah. touchscreen shit. So I think the best way to do a 3DS emulation is on a computer because then you can just have, like, a... I mean, there, there are uh, emulators where you can, like, change the size of the screens and shit. So if it's, like, a game where the second screen isn't important at all, it could be all super tiny and in the corner. Mm. But, nah, Retroid Pock is just... It's One real tiny. Screen. Yeah, It's about as big as my phone, just, like, twice as thick. So, I don't know. That would probably be my... My my go to maybe 3ds or Switch. I don't know. It's like I wouldn't go to like an original Game Boy. I wouldn't try to replay the original Pokemon. I've done that enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've done that enough. I don't have to do. <laughs> I don't have to. To I got nothing to prove to you. I got nothing to prove to nobody. Only God can judge me. <laughs> um, I uh, yeah. I think I would just try to play something that I wouldn't normally play at home. And, and mm. you know, without the distractions of home, I feel like I would. It's more about the game than it is even about the console. Right. I was just going to ask, since you would bring a Switch, that would mean specific, like, game, almost. Right. Because you don't want to be carrying around a ton of those tiny cartridges on a trip. I always, yeah, I always think I want to play an RPG. Do you ever feel that, where you're like, man, I totally just want to get into oh, a 40-hour RPG on a six-hour plane ride? Why? I, how does that make sense? Right. I hate how many times I feel that feeling. Yeah, because you, I start one... And I'm like, I don't want to fucking do this. You get halfway through it, and then you're like, oh, that was all my time. Hmm. I should have played something <laughs> I could have beaten. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> something fun. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. I have been playing Grandia 2 in my bedroom, though. Nice. Just because, you know, Chris always falls asleep like three hours before I do. I dropped a Grandia 2. <laughs> Just <laughs> I shit myself. It's the coffee again, isn't it? It's all the coffee. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> a t- the fact that it's the two. Yeah, that's the... Yeah. That yeah. one's actually been really fun. Have you ever... Did you ever play that game? I did, but man, I don't remember shit about it. Like, at all. That's I remember great. I liked it. Yeah. I think I've only like, been whoa. playing it for like five hours or something, but I've definitely been enjoying it. I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima lately. Ooh. I finally installed it on the PS5, and I was like, fine... Fine, I'll play you. God, make me play a game that I know I'm going to like. I know. it's it, Isn't that the most frustrating thing is like, you know, we were talking about this a little bit before we started filming, was like when all you want to do is want to play a video game where you're like, man, that game looks like something I want to like. I'm going to get it. 
I'm going to install it. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to watch the intro, and I'm not going to be interested at all. <laughs> How does that happen? I really don't know. Oddly enough, the game for me that's been doing that is uh, Doom, but the Ancient Gods, parts one and two. There are two parts of that game, and I love Doom. Like, I love it. The, which one? Which... Well, it's the Doom Eternal, and okay. it's the DLC for that. Oh, is it just and boring? it actually gives, like, more story and stuff, which is all stuff that I, I want. I want to know it. I want to play it. I just, every single time I sit down to play it, I'm just like, I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, call this gamer guilt. A lot yeah. of gamer guilt going around. Lately, going wrong, going wrong, going wrong. Going wrong. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's it, it, it is hard, especially when you're at home. Like the other day, I was at home for a little while by myself. Alicia had to go to work. The, the kid was at school, yes. and I was here for like four hours by myself, like cleaning. I was like, dang it. Yeah. Why am I not being lazy? This <laughs> sucks. Like <laughs> no. I was mad at myself for not playing a video game because yeah. I felt too guilty to play a video game. It was yep. awful. I told yep. Like every other day. It's like, oh, I finally got like forty minutes, I'm gonna play. Or I could do the dishes. Fuck, I need plates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's awful. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's why I'm going to leave my family. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Take the switch and <laughs> see you later. I'm going to go live in a hobo town. <laughs> Hooray. There's tons of those in Denver now. Just go move into a campsite. Right? They're not hard to find. Mm -mm. Just find an overpass of any sort. Yeah, you just got to like... You'll find a couple. Yeah, you just got to like shank a somebody to get in the gang i don't know how yeah. it works with that kind of crew if you're homeless tell us how it's done <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> uh but i i did want to uh throw a uh honorable mention to psp though hey psp was a great console i had a hard time picking between the two i'm gonna say that the umds was probably not the best idea though probably not and the little doors that just fell apart, like flimsy little doors with the little metal things that just kind of... What do you mean those little... Little itty, itty, little itty, itty, itty bitty <laughs> things, a little notch. Like, real that they stretched out for like an inch and a half. Real cute, Sony. <laughs> yeah. Fuckers. I do love that You know that how many console, of those I though. fixed? Ugh. I'm probably... There aren't a lot of things that I'm proud of, but I'm probably one of the better PSP repairmen mm. in the Denver area. <laughs> It's very specific. <laughs> I'm not gonna claim too much here, but not, I'm pretty sure. Not gonna stretch that. Pr what that yeah, web yeah, out too far? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to get any challengers at my door or anything. <laughs> I'm here, motherfucker. Let's do this. <laughs> Fix off. the lens in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> or die. It's like Swordfish. <laughs> Remember, you ever see that movie? I have not yet watched Swordfish. No. You didn't see the part where he's like getting a blowjob and hacking at the same time? Oh no, I've seen. The parts, but not the <laughs> You're movie. like, I watch only that part <laughs> on repeat. Listen, I, I mean, I'm just saying that's what happened. And he's like, oh, I'm trying to hack, but also, but I'm getting fellatiated or something. <laughs> why? <laughs> it was a test, bro. It's a test. Oh, that they put was a gun to his head, too. There was a gun to his head. And he was getting... Is this Activision he's trying to work for? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, shit. get it. I get it. Got you good, motherfuckers. Yep, yep. yep. Bobby Kotick. Just... <laughs> Hack, motherfucker! <laughs> Man, you'd be screwed. Mm. If uh, Tim Schafer walked in, you'd be too distracted. Mm. <laughs> I'd be like... I can't do this. I'm can't not, do this no more. I'm not strong enough, man. <laughs> Ain't strong enough. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I didn't say stroganoff. I love stroganoff. You're stroganoff. I mean, I was sometimes. <laughs> Never mind. I told you to quit stroganoff in my house. Your bathroom is just so nice. <laughs> I know it's the big mirror that does it. It really is. Um, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right. We did. We did the thing. So yeah, sorry. We're. Do you think Halo is gonna be good? Oh, we're skipping up to Halo. Oh, did I skip your other? Oh, it's all good. Okay, I'm sorry. I just write them down. It really isn't a, an order, but Halo Infinite. I don't know. 
I really am excited about it. <laughs> sounds like it. Super sounds convincing that you're excited. I know. Well, the thing that makes me pause is, where the fuck am I going to find a Series X? I've found so many Series S's. It's driving me fucking insane. It's almost as if nobody wants them as yeah. much as the other and one. And why don't they... they- Put the X's in the stores. Because they want people to buy digital consoles. Well, fuck they're those a digi- consoles. They're, they're a digital platform that occasionally, if you get the rarer version, can use discs as well. It's, I mean, I this is their trick. This is their trick. It. And so they try to make us go all this digital last time. And they're like, oh, okay, never mind. And this time they're like, okay, let's not try to trick them. Let's, let's not try... Just make it hard. Or no, let's yeah. not try to like tell them what we're doing we'll just trick them into doing it like we'll mm. only put out these oh yeah there's two different models i will find the other one though <laughs> good luck we're only gonna sell it online because we know people have bots exactly it's just like the fucking i've oh man that's been pissing me off so much more and more every day like every every day i'm just trying to f- randomly find these things and every fucking like retailer is like oh we only sell that online why because, the f- because then they don't have to talk about how many they got. They don't have to. I, I mean, mean it, it's it's less. It's it's it costs them less to direct ship it to. Okay, so there's no profit in consoles at all. So think about it. Like Walmart buys a pallet of PS fives or whatever, right? And then okay. they have to probably pay to ship those in, in addition to the cost of the PS fives, which is really no profit in those at all, like at all. Like from the from the top down, everybody's losing money on them. So the more you have to ship it, that's your profits just going out the window. So shipping it to the stores costs more. Getting employees to put it out costs more. Selling it directly to a customer when you know it's gonna sell at the maximum price with the least amount of logistics involved, you just do it that way. Walmart's not losing any money doing it this way. Best Buy doesn't lose any money. It's just Stop Suck. making sense and just be angry with me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not happy about it, but that's why I like, so like Sony's been doing the thing where they're like hitting up people directly and saying, okay, cool, you've been oh, yeah. hop in line, here's your opportunity to buy it at this time, and it's like a queue type process. I like that. Um, yeah, that one's not as bad. I still, I just fucking hate trying to find shit online. It's, I mean. It's impossible. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's what's going on with those ultra premium sets right now too. Yeah. Those Pokemon, Those Pokemon sales. things, dude. That shit was nutty. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, but back on to Halo Infinite. Oh yeah. Halo. Uh, I don't know. I am. I am excited for it. I definitely want to play it. Uh, although their whole direction of making it an open world game has me. That's uh, that's the one thing that is really making me hesitant. Like I, I get the feeling it's going to be a good game. I don't want to play Far Cry in Halo Verse. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Yeah. I mean, it seems, you know, obviously, Bun- like Microsoft wanted to go down the Destiny hole, right? They did that, and oh, yeah. so they do like the dungeon type format where it's like, okay, cool, it's like an open world. Do you go into, like, dungeons, kind of, for the story segments? Like, is it, like, a separate loading screen? It can't all just be one big world, right? Like, I mean... Me? Mm. Because, like, how do they get you on a ship where you're fighting the flood and you're... You know what I mean? Like... Well... How do they make that happen in an open world environment? How do they, like, make the big set pieces and stuff work in co-op as well? Just the... Oh, co-op. I don't even know if they're going to do that. You think they'll have a co-op mode in Halo Infinite? I mean, it's a big-ass open world, right? you got to be able to, like, meet up with your bro and do a flood mission or something. I don't... That's what I'm saying. Like, how does it work? It can't just be an open world with a bunch of grunts running around. You're just like... Tuk, 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 and you're just like... I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, there's... There, there has to be sections of it that are narrative-driven. Does that make sense? There yeah. has to be sections of it that see but are are somewhat controlled right and that's what has me a little bit worried because uh like you know how most open world games do it is oh well you got you did the mission now watch hologram 
Yeah. You're like, oh, I guess so. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. But, I mean, it, it sounds like it's all centralized on that one halo, or what they called it, something like the, the goofy halo. I don't know what the fuck they called it, but <laughs> it sounds like you're just stuck on one spot. There, there, I mean, there's going to be, like, sure, probably, like, a cave into some other different locations and stuff, but... You see what I mean? Like, how do you make that fun? Where it's, like, it doesn't work, like... Even God of War was kind of open-ended in a way, right? It had, like, a kind of overworld-type thing where you could kind of mm. fuck around a little bit. Right. But once you chose a path, it then became linear. Right. And so I'm wondering if that's just the route they're going to go with it. Where it's like I a hope so. section of it. I mean, it has to. There's just how well, do you how do you do like a warthog segment? See, the part that has me worried about that is because like in the trailer, there's one spot where you're like flying in to an open area, and Chief is just like, "Oh yeah, over there, like drop," and then he just like jumps out and he starts shooting all this shit that's around like a campfire. Hmm. So, so maybe you can just drop in on certain points and there'll be like missions. Is it like, is it like Metal Gear Solid five? Did you play that one where it's like, here's a big open world, but here are missions available. So you select the mission and then it basically launches the mission where it's like, that makes sense. I would like it if it was like that. It is a big open world, but, and there are all these places you can go. So there's like, you know, a prison, right? And there'll be like six different missions in the prison. But, like, if you're not in that mission, you can just go there and, like, kill dudes or steal stuff or whatever. But then later you're like, all right, cool, I want to do this mission. And it kind of, like, resets the map, respawns the enemies, drops you in at a certain time. I and then you. You, you execute the mission in that spot. And so that could work, I guess, in that way. That'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. But, yeah, I'm just excited for it. It's just the first time I've been excited for a Halo since ODST. ODST was tight. Dude, I love that That was a weird one. Nobody expected that game to be what it was. No. And a lot of people didn't like it at the time. I know. It was so weird because everyone was just like, where's Chief? And it was like, he died, right? Like, he's supposed to be dead now. Yeah. Move on. I I did. And then... I fucking moved on. And then, you know, they were just like, all right, we're going backwards. I was like, fuck. All right, never mind. (laughs) I mean, hey, you know, at least they tried to move on. They were like, "All right, Chief's dead. That's true. Let's they did try." On. And then everybody's like, "Well, what if, what if he didn't die? Though, what if he got a special super duper suit where he could never die? Yeah, he could fly from space and get shot by alien spacecraft, but he will never die. He just got to wake up. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Which, God damn it, I was so stoked for that." whole series to just start going off and branching off into different like badasses in the universe because the spartan program fuck follow a different spartan they tried well i mean they did reach but those spartans sucked ass i mean they make a not shitty spartan to follow (laughs) that's that's i mean that's the problem you try to like assign a personality you can only have one silent type right so there can't be another doom slayer because then it'd be like hi i'm doom slayer number two and it'd be like why are you talking so much (laughs) well i have to explain my existence and you're like well i already don't like you right (laughs) but it's halo yeah halo they already have very little storytelling which as much as you all want to talk shit and try to tell me there isn't Look at your stack of books and tell me that's in the games. I mean... Everybody that ever complains about me saying there's no fucking story in Halo, they always are like, well, in the book... It's like, I'm not reading no goddamn book. I'm playing the game. Yeah. Give me story in the game, and then I'll tell you their story. Cortana is good. Save her. Cortana is bad. Destroy her. Right. (laughs) So... Cortana was a virus. She's good again. Something. And in all fairness, I, I did only play through Reach, and then I stopped. You know, so, I played some of 4, and yeah. I played some of 5. I played more online 5 than I did the, the campaign, though. Mm. But I don't, I don't know. Like, Halo has always been a better co-op game to me. Yeah. It just is. Even though it doesn't fucking make any sense, because there's not two Master Chiefs, it never made any sense. Like, I don't understand how that game was <laughs> such a huge co-op hit. I mean, I understand why. It's a lot of fun. But it's like, how are there two Master Chiefs? Like, you couldn't, you yeah. couldn't even write the context of there potentially being two Spartans into the, into the story to make that make more sense. It's no, the Arbiter. Just, just, there's just two of them. 
Well, the Arbiter was until the later one. I know, one. he wasn't there until three. And they finally, yeah, or they're two. finally like, okay, 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 we'll give him some context. But before, it's just like, two chiefs. <laughs> plop, plop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, what are you going to do? Sometimes you just got to drop two, t- two chiefs. That's true, that's true. I don't know, are you excited about this one, or could you care less? Um, I could definitely care less um, than I do. I care some. I could care more, I suppose. In the middle of the road feel for you? Kinda in the middle of the road. I don't have an Xbox. Yep. That so is a problem. That's a problem. And honestly, the last few Halos just haven't been my jam. So it's kind of hard for me to get excited. So for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this one with uh, tempered expectations, mm. at least initially. And if I'm surprised, it will be a good surprise instead of the opposite. So, sweet. you know. That's that's kind of how I'm approaching Halo Infinite. That sounds good. That's probably the way to do it. Yeah. With I don't all have a whole games. lot to lose in this one. With all video games. Yep. Unless it's Doom, because then you know it's going to be good. Mm. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Okay. Next topic. The Sony State of Play happened, and everyone was excited. Yeah, it was fucking lit. Dude. Dude, like people all over the internet. People I, were I see. freaking out, just in the streets, flipping cop cars. Oh yeah. Um, uh, they freed. I'm trying to remember <laughs> a bunch of the all the beagles. They're <laughs> Fauci's all killing the beagles. <laughs> what? <gasps> Anyhow, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember exactly what games uh, showed up that I was super excited for. I think actually, I have a problem. With motherfucking <laughs> Star Ocean. Why? I don't know why, but every single time I see a Star Ocean, I'm just like, dope. I'm going to watch, or I'm going to play the shit out of this game. And never, I, never, I never do. Never. I never do. Because it looks like a cool anime, and you're like, man, if that was a movie, I'd, if that was a show, I'd watch it. But yep. now that it's a game, it's boring. Uh, and it's the fucking PSP's fault. Because the first two that they remade for the PSP were the first ones I played. And I loved them both. But literally everyone I've tried after that, I'm just like, eh. I think it's good. Yeah. Not PSP good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. There's a... Uh... So I, I initially was extremely excited. And then I realized, oh yeah, I need to stop being excited. <laughs> Yeah, I was really fucking... excited about We Are OFK, the indie pop music oh, biopic yeah. game. What the fuck? Dude, that... Dude, at least they're doing a new Bug Snacks game. Oh, yeah, the, Dude. the Isle of Big Snacks. This will be this will be another free game. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a free update. It's a free update. Oh, it's not a game? No. That no. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but honest. you can you can dress up your bug snacks now. Oh, yeah. They were like talking about, oh, it's got hats. It's so adorable. It's like, you know, if you have to tell me it's adorable, it's not. It's just not. Well, Cart Rider Drift is coming to <laughs> Yeah, whatever the PS40. fuck that is. They're like, hey, you know Mario Kart? Let's fuck it up. Uh... I don't know, man. King of Fighters, it's a good fighting game, I guess, whatever. It's got its its people. Is it? I think King of Have Fighters... Have you ever liked King of Fighters? I like the characters. I've never been good at the game, though. The game is actually really hard. The game is tough as fuck. It's, it's just... It's one of those games that just has so many different layers to the mechanics that it's like, if you're not going to sit down and practice it, you're just going to be ass. Right. And I'm not going to sit down and practice. That so. makes sense. That makes sense. So I, I can appreciate... It's you know it's like a it's like a really good guitarist where you're like whoa that dude shreds I'm never gonna practice that hard but good on you bro <laughs> I see that that's a good way to put it uh, yeah I like that yeah that makes sense uh, first class trouble mm. yep. uh, I'm very confused what are you talking about? do you know about? anything about first class trouble first class trouble it was one of the games that they yeah ah uh, yes a, the social deception game. Launches on the PlayStation Plus next month. Okay, so yeah, this is... Yeah, so it's it's even one of the Plus games, but I think this is the first trailer we've seen of it, and it's just like, wait, what the fuck is this? Find out how you can survive rogue AIs aboard a luxury space cruiser 
or as an AI, how to pass as human. So it's fucking, it's, what's the, what's the game with the, the little space guys and they kick each other out and somebody sus and. Oh, Among Us. Yeah, it's just Among Us, but it's like first class trouble, right? Somebody's murdering and everybody else is trying to figure out who's the murderer guy. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Well, if there's a single player, I'll give it a shot. I don't, it doesn't look like they're, it really doesn't. Cause yeah, the whole, uh, there's a, there's like a chunk of it where you can see all these names above it, but they looked like really fake ass usernames. So maybe it's just the game pretending that there are users in there. Yeah. Or it's actual users that are supposed to be in there with you. Mm. Uh, I hope it's not that. I really hope it's a single player that you can play with multiple people. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. Probably not. But, hey, there you have it. Yeah, so. The state of play. (laughs) Uh, No, I don't know. There's just, who, there's like nothing that I care about. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. I actually do want to play that one. Mm. Because I I enjoyed the first couple of them. And uh, this one looks a lot more like a, a game. I've, I don't... Be blunt. Yeah. It's it's not just... Like, what is it before? Well, before... So I'll, I really like the... I think I played the first three, and then after that, I was like, all right, fuck off. Uh, but it was kind of like a... It was trying to master a pattern, essentially. And if you didn't get the pattern right, then you lost. Then you sure. had to start over. Mm. So it was just like a really challenging pattern to be like, oh, click this, look there, look there, recharge this, close door. Mm. You know... Like, so not exactly the most exhilarating gameplay, but it was challenging enough that I enjoyed it. Right. Just trying to survive. Yeah. It whatever. It's like a big puzzle. It wasn't fucking scary. All the people that streamed it and were like, ah, 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 I, I want to punch them in the gut. Not hard enough for it to really hurt them. Just hard enough to be like, stop it. And they're just like, Ooh, just like, okay. Yeah, that was dumb. Because that now fucking everybody expects that kind of shit from their streamers, and I don't want to pretend that hard. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Cut. But whatever. This one actually looks like a fun, ridiculous B movie. Yeah, I don't really think any of these fools have as much fun playing these games as they pretend. Like most of them are just like, I'm making silly noises for an audience. Like yeah. they're they're entertainers, which is cool. I mean, you guys do you. It's just I don't want to do that. So no, I don't. It always just bugs me to watch other people do that. that no, I agree with you. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about that one because I do want to play it. Because, uh, I mean, fuck, I really just want the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yeah. Because that's a it's a cool concept. I like the horror idea of animatronics trying to kill everyone, which now they've made a movie with Nicolas Cage doing exactly that, and it was actually pretty fun and ridiculous. Which one? I can't remember the name of it. Yes. What the hell was it called? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hannah uh, Montana Matronics? <laughs> yes. Nick Cage. Nick Cage is FNAF. Real good guy. So. There you go. Willy's Wonderland. Willy's Wonderland. If you have not checked that movie out yet and you like uh, FNAF stuff, seriously, it's like a, a campy version FNAF? Of, of FNAF. FNAF? Yeah, you Five got... Nights at Freddy's. No, 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 I got you. FNAF. No, 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 don't start, dude. FNAF. Uh, I didn't start that. That's just what people refer to it as. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I don't want to always say Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm too lazy for that. Just say that game we were talking about. Okay, so that game we were talking about. <laughs> there you go. This is like a That's stupid better. version of that <laughs> with Nicolas Cage in it. <laughs> Whoa, dude. And it's free to watch somewhere. I think it might be... Uh, Amazon Prime? NicolasCage.com. Yes. <laughs> DinosaurBones.com. Best website ever. Yeah, dude. Nicholas Cage rules. Remember Hell that time yeah. he was, uh, he's got his face off? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, what's next on the list? Well, speaking of movies, an actual kick-ass looking movie is coming out. Mm, I know where this is going. Hell yeah, you do. Light year to infinity and screen cut. Just say beyond. We all know it's beyond. 
Just I hope he hear. doesn't say it because he's not Buzz Lightyear. He is Buzz he's Lightyear. He's Cuz Lightyear. He's <laughs> Fuzz Lightyear. He's uh, Jeff Lightyear. He's Buzz Lightyear's like cousin, little Ricky Lightyear. <laughs> you know? I'd watch that. Little Ricky. <laughs> little Ricky Lightyear. Little Ricky Lightyear. You know, he's just like, hey, six infinity and beyond. See, that's better than two. <laughs> And he's like, that's not what that... Never mind. So so you got to tell them why this is bothering you. What? The fact that Buzz Lightyear's not in the movie? That it doesn't have Tim Allen in the movie? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I feel you, though. I never Let's even... have a Woody movie without Tom Hanks. I'd be fine with that. Who would, who would be Woody? Literally How... anyone. I... No, that's not... It's not how it works. There's six fucking <laughs> Toy Story movies. You can't all of a sudden be like, psych, not you. This guy's Woody. This guy's Buzz. I don't know. They can. They can do whatever they want. I was going to say, like if it. they made a live, like a, a version of Woody that existed in his own reality, would he be would Tom he? Hanks' voice? Yes. Would he? The, the voice box inside of Woody the doll was captured from <laughs> a the TV actor show. or the, the person who is Woody. Yeah. But which it was, is Tom Hanks. But it was of a TV show. See, so I'm thinking Buzz Lightyear, because we're, we're diving into this. Buzz Lightyear was a person. Buzz Aldrin. Yeah? Yeah? No. Yes? No. <laughs> so, actual person gets a cartoon made after said person. They sure. they call it Buzz whatever, and then you see Toy Story toy of said cartoon in a universe where that Buzz Lightyear actually exists. Mm -hmm. This is that movie of the actual person before there's a cartoon of which there's a toy of a movie we've seen. Who did the voice for the toy? Tim Allen. Who did? Who, who is who? not the real Buzz Lightyear in that universe? Hmm. He's the guy that. Why would he be the, the Why would he be the voice of the the toy then? Well, why didn't they get Buzz Aldrin to be Buzz Lightyear? Because he's not Buzz Lightyear. Exactly. Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Maybe. But that's my point. <laughs> it's such a stupid point, and I'm stretching so hard. To try I know. To make I this know what you're trying to do, and it's just it ain't there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. Like, Buzz Lightyear is Tim, Tim Allen. Allen's voice, I, right? And and so if they have a toy based on what is, we're assuming now, a real person in some universe, right? So the toy is based on a real Buzz Lightyear mm -hmm. in this universe where well, there's toys that come to life. So this just makes things very confusing and mystical. Oh, extremely. Because <laughs> um, now you're like, well, there is space travel. Now it's all real. Hmm. Anyhow... So, if it's based on that dude, unless they did, like, a spin-off cartoon, you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. thinking, like, 90s cartoon. Okay, so you're saying... That's what I'm saying. Uh, like, the Mighty Ducks cartoon had none of the Mighty Ducks. But did the toy come first? Oh, it came second. Well, the cartoon... What? What do you mean, came second to what? The cartoon Oh, came... I mean... Okay, let's make a real-world example. Uh, <laughs> Bill and Ted's... <laughs> Okay. Bill and Ted's has a movie, yes? Yes. Keanu Reeves is in the movie. They made a Bill and Ted's cartoon. The Bill is not voiced by Keanu Reeves. But they made toys based off the cartoon. Therefore, the toys based on the cartoon of Bill and Ted's is not Keanu Reeves. But Keanu Reeves still exists as Bill. I guess. But, or right. Ted, sorry, I mixed up their names. Keanu Reeves is Ted. But we're still... I guess, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. All right. So, assuming that Buzz Lightyear was a real person. Yeah. It's Chris Evans. Chris Evans is playing Buzz Lightyear. I don't think we got to this. I don't you know, think we ever did say... The guy, the guy who plays Captain America. That's that's Buzz Lightyear. That's They're going down that real cornhole is what we call it the cornhole well i mean disney already owns him for marvel shit might as well use him for other shit now yeah i mean whatever as long as china likes him ain't that right disney he fucks um i mean they gotta keep pleasing winnie the pooh i mean that's true 
I get it. Um, I don't know, man. Whatever. I just I think that Chris. I, I just like. Tim Allen, he's Buzz Lightyear. I don't want to oh. see Buzz Lightyear be like, hi, I'm Buzz Lightyear. I have a different voice now. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, why? I hope that's exactly how the movie starts. <laughs> hi, I'm Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> There's a reason you watch that trailer and he says one word in the trailer. Yeah, he really does. It's no, That's I what I'm saying because they know that one people word, are going to fucking like it. Yeah, one word, one sound. Yeah. Because they're not going to like it. People are going to be like, that ain't that ain't Buzz. And Tim Allen's going to be like, oh, huh? <laughs> it is a real bummer because I definitely Tim Allen is such a good voice actor. He kills it in those Toy Story movies. And I know uh, you want it to be a more serious voice, though. Well, I mean, you want a more emotionally a mature. I'm just actor. happy that they finally picked up on one of the ideas that I wanted them to do with Toy Story. Well, actually, like explore the yeah, toys, the and their characters, back. because we've only watched the toys, but they all. They came from all these cool shows and shit. I want to see where all these toys are inspired from. Well, first of all, Woody's Roundup does not look like a fun show. Oh, well, I couldn't give a shit less about Woody. I yeah. fucking hate Woody. And the fact that they always focus on him pissed me off. So I'm super stoked that there's finally just a Buzz Lightyear movie. Yeah. Because the first movie, or first Toy Story, awesome. Because there's equal parts Woody and Buzz. Second movie, like 80% fucking Woody, 20% Buzz. Third movie is like maybe 30% Buzz, 70% Woody. And then. Well, yeah, and then Buzz like 80, was or, Antonio Banderas for half that movie. Yeah. He wasn't even. Yeah, and, and which, then the fourth which, one is like 100%. That, Woody. that was fucking dope. I want to watch. If. I swear to God, Disney, if Antonio <laughs> Banderas does not do the Spanish dub for oh, Buzz. That'd I, be amazing. I will. Dig up Walt Disney's body, and I will defile it. <laughs> you don't think they've already done that? <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't do that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah. I get pretty upset about things. Apparently. Not really. <laughs> I'm all but bark. Yes, I didn't even think about it until you brought it up. That is kind of a bummer that they didn't use Tim Allen. But, I mean, what can you do? Hey, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Just I'm um, I'm just gonna enjoy the shit out of a Buzz Lightyear movie. I hope it's good. I hope that it's just I don't know. It just because seems, it just seems it just seems weird. It was like when Bane was British. <laughs> this is my voice. This is the voice of Bane. It's like, isn't Bane from Brazil? Yeah, he's like super thick Spanish accent. And so I'm like. <laughs> When did he become fucking Gandalf or whatever this is? Like, what the fuck? Mm, Batman, I am a, a villain. I'm going to tie you to the railroad track. Mm. Do you feel in control, Batman? Yeah, that shit was weird. So, yeah, that's your fucking Bane. My Bane is like... Hell no, he's not my Bane. He didn't even break his back. Batman's back didn't even bend in that fucking shot. Yeah, it didn't even barely bend. No, it didn't bend at all. It was like they seriously put him on a board and they just like flopped him on his knee. It was weird as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Quit flopping. I wanted to see that shit like... Yeah, I wanted to see you us. Have gr you have green screen shit. Make I it got happen. a spinal. Yeah. Spinal. Got to, you got to break him. Remember that shit that Mike Tyson... He's got a spinal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Mike Tyson's voice is just fucking hilarious. Amazing. He's a good guy. I mean, seems like it. No, I'm scared of him. Yeah? I mean... Okay. As all men should be. I mean, I'm sure he's I mean, a nice I... person, but I'm just saying, like... You know. Yeah, I got you. There's okay. dogs that won't bite you, but they could kill you. That's true. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Call of Duty has something coming out. Uh, apparently, they're still making video games over at Activision. Which is... It's seriously hilarious. I didn't even know this game was coming out until you told me that today. Another World War II one. Is it seriously another World War II one? Motherfuckers. See. No wonder nobody talked about it. You dipshits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh well, whatever. I mean, we're finally getting our wish granted where people don't care about COD as much. They care about Warzone. Which is Dude, a I version of it, but I mean, I I don't know. I don't think Warzone really has its cluster anymore. I think people have kind of no? fallen off that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I you know you still see highlight reels from it and stuff, but it's like 
I don't think that it's still like keeping up to where it was like pandemic levels, obviously like, well, I mean, yeah, a free call of duty on a thing that most people had super accessible. Yeah. That was insane. That worked out really well for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll play. I like. I I play. Mo- I don't think there's been a Call of Duty except for what was the fucking what was the one I didn't play? Was it Infinite Call of Duty Infinite? The one in space? There's an Infinite. I don't know. I oh, so. wasn't that the one with like Kevin Spacey or something? No, that was uh, Advanced Warfare. That one was good. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I have a computer too. <laughs> I was just trying oh. to find how many people were streaming it right now. Um, Doritos. Yeah, Thanks. Infinite Warfare is what it was called. And that was the one that was, like, kind of in space. Huh. I mean... When did I stop caring? I, d- I definitely stopped caring after World at War. Because then I had no friends. And I was mm-hmm. alone. Um, And then... World War Two came out. I was pretty stoked about that one. Because it was the first time people started coming back. Instead of going into the future and... Where the fuck they all went. Uh, that one was really good. Mm. Uh, and then, you know, I've just been playing other games. Remember Ghosts? You ever play Ghosts? No. Call, I, Call I, of Duty Ghosts? That I, was the one with the dog. Remember I, they were like, you got a dog oh, now. Yeah. I did find it uh, for the PS3 when like GameStop was throwing away all of those because they were old. So I got it for literally like a dollar and a half or some shit. I mean, it's a. I, I think that game's. I just haven't played it yet. It's kind of hard to find now. Um, the extraction mode, extinction mode, something. Anyhow, it's the alien mode. It's basically oh. zombies but aliens. That's cool. They're like, you like zombies? What if zombies were aliens? And you're like, oh, changing up the formula. So nice of you. And then everybody's like, why are you talking in this voice still? It's like, (laughs) I wish I could stop, but there's something wrong with me. I'm shaking. I think I'm having a mental breakdown. And then everybody just starts smashing things over your head until you fall asleep. And then, you know, (laughs) foam just starts shooting out of your mouth. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Shit, yeah. Where did it go? I, oh, yeah. I do have it on PS3. Nice. So, yeah. I'll have to check it out at some point because I did. I mean, I bought it. I mean. Like I said, I found it for like a literally, I think it was like a dollar fifty. So, I was like, oh, I'll try it at some point. I tried to play it when it dropped. I didn't really like it. So, I was like, me. Like I said, I try most of them. I tried Infinite Warfare. I didn't really like that one because I had. Well, Advanced Warfare was one that had like jetpacks. All where they copied Titanfall. Shit was tight. Tinfall. Um, the campaign was really good in that one. The Kevin yeah. Spacey one. You're like, oh, I wonder if Kevin Spacey's going to be the bad guy. Oh, of course, course he's he the bad guy. No. Oh, surprise. Didn't think that would happen. Yeah, the highest paid actor that they have on there is either the main villain or the main character. <laughs> and yeah, they wouldn't make him the main character because then you don't see him. That's true. That's true. So... Yeah, uh, let us know if you still care about Call of Duty. I'm actually interested. I I don't know anybody that is. I like I said, I'm gonna play the campaign. I'll, yeah, I like I like killing Nazis more than just as much as the next guy. I definitely tried out. What was it? Black Ops, the last one. Four. Four. Was it four? <laughs> yeah. Four. Jesus. I doubt. That one was so bad. Seemed pretty bad. We played a decent amount of the was, last one, right? What was the last one? Mar- that was. Modern Warfare? No, the that was four. Black Ops Four. No, it wasn't Black Ops Four was not the last one. The last one was Modern Warfare. Was it? Pretty sure. There's two. Oh, no, World War Two was the last one. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Dude, I'm there's losing so many this. of them. They don't stop. They're all so similar. It's hard to tell. No. Because no yes. Cold War. Cold, yeah. War Cold War was the PS5. Cold War. Yeah. And that's the only reason I played it, because it was on PlayStation 5. That was a good one, though. Remember, I, we played it over here. I mean, playing it with you was fun, oh, yeah. but trying to play the campaign by myself... Yeah, that's no fun. I was like, this is god-awful. I'm fucking done. This is stupid. And I couldn't make it. I literally couldn't beat that game, because I, I, I didn't care. It's really hard to make a first-person story good anymore. I think so much has been done... You know, between yeah. like Bioshock and 
uh, other first person games that are good? That's a good question. Are there any really good story driven FPS games recently? Well, I mean, I think one of the bigger, more recent ones would be Death Loop. Does that have a good story? I don't think so. I think it's like, you're being chased, you're in a Death Loop. Mark, yeah. mark, mark. I mean, I would say Doom, but. I don't know if that really counts either because I gave Halo shit for the books counting as story and for Doom you have to read all of the codex and all that shit for it to really get it. So, no, I don't think it does because you don't just get it from the game but that's also the point of Doom is you can fucking skip that stuff. Thank God. Right? So, I mean, that if you want it, you can get it. If you don't, you don't fucking have to deal with it. That's It's beautiful. Yeah, I don't need a whole lot of exposition as to why I need to shoot the giant one-eyed demon in the face. Right. I'm like, it's probably a bad guy. Blang, blang, blang. blang, blang, blang. <laughs> yeah. Wolfenstein. Those ones were killing it story-wise. Wolfenstein 2 was amazing. Right? Those ones were so good. Of course, nobody cared because it was really only single player. And they were really goofy. Like, like when you get your head chopped off and then you get a robot body in Wolfenstein 2. Dude. That shit was tight. So you get good. publicly decapitated. <laughs> I love those games. They were so, oh fuck. Now I want to play those again. But those were so good. But was, and they had good boss battles too, which was cool. It's like yeah. you don't get that a lot in a first person game anymore. It's like no, er, nor most people now are just bullet sponges. But they did it. Well, bullet they sponges, made bullet yeah. sponges, but they didn't feel like bullet sponges. Right, and and I mean like. They made them feel like gigantic bosses that could take a lot of shots. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about Metro? Well, Go. yeah, Metro was great. Those are all great story games that are FPS. Prey was really good. I never played. I tried to play Prey, but, man, that game started very slowly. Oh, it starts stupid slow. That is my only complaint. It takes so long for anything cool to really happen. But those are some of the more recent ones. So eh, I mean, some people are cranking them out. I guess. Um, Not as many as there should be. But well, I feel like there's got to be more. That seems like a really outdated list. I mean, they have some of the newer stuff, but you can't count Overwatch. Warzone, no. Apex Legends, no. Destiny, fuck you, Destiny. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, there is no story. Well, like, okay, okay, what about, what about Far Cry? <sighs> See, At least they try. I mean, they're definitely trying. I haven't played six yet, so I don't know about that one. Uh, five was pretty good. Four is pretty good. The only problem is a lot of their stories are the exact same story, just in a different setting. There is a bad man who took over this area of land. You must find a way to get to the top to kill this person. Yeah, and you always meet them right off the bat. Yeah, they're always... Then Something happens, and then you're flung into a resistance. Now you're the resistance fighting the bad man. Hmm. You're, you're right. There is always like a very generic resistance clan or yeah. something where they're like, we're going to take back our land. And you're like, fucking whatever, dude. Just get me out of here. Like, right. I hope Far I just Cry kill 7, a bunch of sharks. they go back to the first Far Cry story. Yeah, where you're on the island. Yeah, with those fucking like genetic... Uh, fucking mismashed soldier shit. That was good. And nobody would fucking see that shit coming. What would really be cool is if they set up Far Cry 7 in the manner that they have been for the past, like, four Far Cries, and then just, like, without telling anybody, which I know it'll be hard to not spoil everything in your trailers, because it's been proven that if you don't show everything in the trailer, people won't check it out anyway. Uh, just try not to. And actually put in some mystical shit or, you know, genetic soldiers by, or, yes. what the hell are they called? B.O.W.s? Yeah. Mm. Some crazy shit like that. Did That'd you see cool. that they did the uh, the Crisis trilogy remastered? Oh, yeah! That's tight. I love those games. Like, I've the third never... one, I didn't like as much. I've never played them. Because I kept staring at him like on the Xbox and the Xbox 360 and shit. I'm like, dude, dude should I play that right now? The second one mm. is amazing. Is it? I never really played the first one um, because that was like PC only. Uh, yeah, then, I think they eventually did some poor or some goofy. But anyhow, I never played that one. I did play the second one and it was fucking awesome. The third one I didn't like as much because they 
tried to shoot. Remember when everybody was doing crossbows? Oh, yeah. Every fucking game had a crossbow. They're like, oh, you gotta have a crossbow. You, gotta you love crossbow. crossbow. Oh, crossbow's the most OP fucking thing. You think every crossbow kills everybody. It's like, first of all, crossbow's fucking whack. Like, stop with the crossbow already. Like, yeah, like, just fuck off. We're not Rambo. Yeah. Unless we're playing Rambo, which would be cool. But otherwise, no. I just, I yeah, care. and it, it, I mean, I guess the crossbow is always a um, a crutch when you're trying to kind of shoehorn in stealth. Mm. Like, okay, you're not good at stealth. Let me give you something that will let you murder a guy in one shot. But is obviously, like, if you shot him, he would live with a bullet. But for some reason, a fucking crossbow will take anybody out. They're like, yeah, no matter where you hit them, too. Yeah, it's like crossbows are just the most powerful of all weapons ever invented by humans. It's like, hmm, no, it's just stabbing a person from really far away. Hmm. <laughs> That's what a <laughs> crossbow is. <laughs> they get shot in the gut. Gut. They go, <laughs> holy fuck! You ain't wrong. I mean, getting shots a lot like that too. Not yeah, that I dude, personally I that. know, but... Uh, oh, I've been shot so many times, dude. Yeah? I can't even count on on all my hand, fingers, and toes mm, together. The, the few people I have talked to about it, though, it sounds very painful. No, it sounds awful. Uh, and it's only $50 for the yeah. Crisis Trilogy. Yeah, I mean, is it out already? Yeah. Weird. It came out on the 15th? I don't even think we got that. Maybe we did. I don't know. I don't. I haven't been focusing on the new release games so much. The fucking Pokemon shit's just t- taking up all of my mental capacity. Well, sweet. I'm definitely going to pick that up tomorrow in store. If we have it. Hopefully we do. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> all right. What's next? We're down. We're, we've. Uh, oh, okay. We definitely hit the timer, which is cool. So we can just. Sweet. Well, moving on. Free form. Yeah, that was great. Moving on to look what I found. Did you find anything? Yeah, I got some. I'll show you. Sweet. I knew it. I Sorry. found. <sighs> well, we, not even I, one of the dudes at the store alerted me. So I have all of the Dark Souls board game like expansions. Well, some of them, this being one of them, the Four Kings expansion. Has jumped up to like 200 bucks in price. Oh, damn. So, I'm super amped, but now I don't want to open it. Oh. I'm going to. Nice. But I don't want to. You know what I mean? I mean, it, when you do it, we should definitely record that and Ooh. just like look through it and stuff. Well, and Levi actually has like a bunch of these that he's painted. Ooh. Um, so. Cool. Which is sweet. I don't know. There's even. I didn't really find a whole lot. I just saw that, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I realized I have that here. There's another one, too, that's gone up, the Guardian Dragon one. So if you got Dark Souls board game stuff, hey, some of that's actually worth something. Nice. Took a while. (laughs) And on Kickstarter now, there's a a new Resident Evil board game that just started. I did see that. I was very tempted. It, like, apparently got funded in, like, 15 minutes or something. I mean, hell, it looks amazing. I think I'm probably just going to wait for us to get a copy of it, though. And then yeah. I'll just get it from us. Just do like a, a retail release. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the things I found was another Evercade thingy. Yay. I couldn't help it. This time I actually opened it, though. Oh. So now you because I, I wanted to show everybody what these things actually look like in case you're curious. Uh, oh. Yeah, it actually comes with a manual. And a cartridge. Yeah, let's show you the manual first. But yeah, the cartridge is cool looking. But, but yeah, yeah, this one's one of the more expensive carts that you can buy on the Evercade right now. And it only has two games on it, which kind of blows. But the two games are uh, Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood. Mm-hmm. And this is like, I think the only way you can own Tanglewood physically. I, there's probably some weird limited run shit or something. And Xeno Crisis is... It's on a couple of consoles, but it's pricey on all. It's like a top-down shooter. Yeah, that's cool. So it, this is pretty much the cheapest way to own Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood, like physically. Kind of looks like a Game Gear game, but reverse. Yeah, because it actually fits flush with the console when you put it in. Sick. So yeah, that's why the 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 stickers on the inside of the cartridge. And then on the outside, they still printed the names on it, but then it just goes flush with the Evercade portable. 
I like it. The sticker fits nicely. It's like got a, a nice matte finish. Yeah. They they're very nice cuz I mean, I have those other ones, but I'm I'm keeping them closed cuz I wanted to do a mass opening when I get the console in. The cartridge actually has the name of the games on it as well, like mm-hmm. on the front and the back. So like obviously your logo's there, but on the cartridge is actually printed. I like that it just says Blaze. And I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the company that makes the Evercade stuff. Ah, uh, got so, you. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm. I was so excited about this one. I I opened it immediately. I read the whole instruction manual. Have you played it at all? No. Well, because the uh, the console doesn't come out until January. <laughs> I hate everything. You hate everything. I fucking hate everything. That. <laughs> well, I mean. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I hate everything. You can buy games for a console that doesn't exist yet? Well, the portable console exists. Uh, I don't have that one. Oh, there's a home console. There's a home console coming out in January. Got you. Okay. And I'm just waiting for that one. Because... I was like, no fucking way, dude. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> yeah. No, there no. has to be... I was like, they released the games before the console. That's a <laughs> dick move. No. That's a dick move. This is just the... Uh, this is the ones that came out with the handheld version of it. And, um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Cause it just like, since this one only has two games in it, there's this side and then you flip it. And then the other game is right there. Hey, oh, it's oh. genius. Genius. Mm. So, mm. oh yeah. There's a picture of the handheld or the, yeah, the, yeah, the portable so console. And I'm, I'm waiting for the, uh, the home console. Cause then I like that this person in this picture has all these manuals out. Like he's like, I can't figure it out. There's four <laughs> fucking buttons. How do I play this game? Oh, I never played a video game before. I'm I'm actually holding out on buying the portable version because I'm hoping a newer version of it comes out with four shoulder buttons. Because right now the current portable one only has two shoulder buttons. Yeah, this dude's playing Double Dragon, and he yeah. like needs the instructions. Well, yeah, I, mean, I remember you don't the know button. Which one is punch and which one's yeah, not punch? Exactly. How do I walk? <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they uh, cool advertisement Evercade. Yeah, because the uh, the home console controllers have four shoulder buttons, so I'm hoping there's going to be an update to the the portable one. Mm. Whole lot of stuff about a thing that most people don't care about. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's that's me though. I just I love the what I'm what I'm over. saying is if this is a, a physical relief of, release of a game that's exclusive, well, it's going to be something. Yeah. It'll be something. All video games are going to be something. Like if especially if there's like a limited release. It's, right. People so. will want to play it. And then I found this beautiful son bitch for $15. What is this? It's the Terra Trilogy. Uh. It's Really, it's just like a bunch of Atari games. It's three of them. Oh, it's in my PlayStation right now. <laughs> I've been playing it. <laughs> Me and Raph have both actually really been enjoying it. But there's, what is it, Terra Lander? Terra Lander. Terra Lander. Terra Bomber. And then, yeah. and then Terra Lipinski. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then Terra Lander 2. So... <laughs> Yeah, yeah Rock Slide Rescue. Yeah, it's just, it's three games, super simple graphics. But you know, like I said, it was brand new, 15 bucks. I knew Raph would like it, and I've really been enjoying it too, actually. So I think it looks tight. It's I don't know. Good. I just have never seen it in my life. So I'm like, that's that's ex- actually interesting. Like, yeah, that's exactly why I picked it up because I was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like when Kmart was still in business and they were the only place that I could find the Raiden trilogy or like Raiden 5, which is a, like a schmuck. Oh, yeah. They had Raiden 5 on the 360. And I was like, why can't I get this? And I looked and I tried to get it. And I was like, fuck it. So I went in and bought out Kmart when they were going out of business. Nice. <laughs> of all their Raidens. And then I sold all those bitches. So Hell yeah. But yeah, it's just one of those random things. And it's apparently made by Funbox. Whoever the uh, fuck Funbox is. I mean, there's a lot of game developers out there now. They're like, we only need one whale. Mm, just true. like the Eskimo. True. True. <laughs> so yeah. Two really random things for me this week. Nice. Yeah, mine mine was super not random. No, I not just at all. Made up at the last minute. There you go. <laughs> I found this can of a uh, monster that is empty. Yep, sorry about that. Didn't mean no. to leave that there. No. <laughs> all right. Here uh, we go. 
Last topic of the day. Hey. Other John's collection. And uh, last time we spun Slave Zero on the Dreamcast. Yeah, how'd that go? You know, I think this is the first one that I was really excited about and realized I... Are you going to have okay. time to do this? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to do this. Okay. I think. It's I got hope. the vacation coming up, so, you know. But you're also doing the, the Halloween thing, so I'm like, you're kind of loading yourself up with some work. Always. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, do it up. Do if do I it. don't have work, I go crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So here we go. Oh. Every time, the sound is just like... So good. Okay. Uh, what console are we picking? Almost forgot to pick a console. Um... Let's do uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm going to say Commodore 64. Oh. Yeah. You ready? Oh, oh John hey. got it. Hey. <laughs> Max Payne 2. That is a good game. Ooh. That's a good one. Those Max Payne games. There's going to be a lot of startup. Yeah. They take a little while to get going. They Rockstar really, really likes their fucking exposition. Yep. They're like almost as bad as Kojima when it comes to like starting a game. You're just like, oh. please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me shoot stuff already. And they're like, no, 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 no. You have to meet the entire cast. If you don't know everything. It's like a fucking Wes Anderson movie just starting off. Where they're like introducing each <laughs> character with like lengthy exposition. I don't know, whatever. Yep, yep. But yeah, man, I played the shit out of those back in the day. I have not played them so, since. Did you ever play three? I th I think I started three, but I never finished it for some reason. Three was hard. Yeah. And if you played it on free aim, oh, because they gave you that stupid rock star reticule where it's just a dot in the middle of the oh, screen. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking assholes. I think that was how I was playing it. Was with just the dot. Shit's crazy. But I I don't know. It just didn't seem as gritty or something. I'm telling you, that game was hard as shit. Is it? it was it. I was going to say, because, yeah, the first one's fucked up. It was almost more like a burn notice kind of style, you know? As a as a Bruce Campbell guy, you mm. probably watched some burn notice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it kind of had more of that, like, like kind of, uh, I don't know, over the top, like, kind of swanky, like. Like, here's the problem of the week. Like, this is cool. Yeah. I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I, I, yeah, that makes sense. That very well be why I didn't finish it. Yeah. Because, yeah, the first one was intense as fuck. Yeah, they got really... The first two were insane and because then, they really go into the Max Payne's backstory, which is very tragic. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, got, he's dealing with some shit. Hey. But, hey. We're here for him. Yeah. All right, and we're here for you. If you got any uh, questions or uh, comments or, you know, you want to let us know that we're right or wrong, right especially, I mean, obviously we're right about everything, but if you want to try to tell us we're wrong about something, um, we <laughs> won't listen, but you can still put your, your voice out into the universe. Yes. In whatever platform, something. And we're literally always happy to see it. Yeah. Yeah. We like attention. It's true. Especially negative attention. We're kind of sick of fans. Yep. <laughs> Come on, we need more dislikes on that. Uh, the, our last news episode, not the Halloween one, but the one before it. No, don't worry. As soon as people start watching it, that we'll get more dislikes. <laughs> that shit was like 50-50 almost. Dude, that shit for was a while, crazy. and then Got the it. likes took off, and I was like, "Damn, we almost kept it at 50 The Ubisoft one, yeah. Yeah, the Ubisoft good. one. <laughs> that so. one got so many <laughs> dislikes. I don't know why. Tell us why. Because everybody loves Ubisoft. That's true. Get off those French Canadian nuts. <laughs> okay, that's Although great. they sound kind of delicious, like, mm, hint of maple. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Official sign off. <laughs> Official sign off. <laughs>